The Intriguing Life of John Eisenhower, A Journey Beyond the Presidential Shadow John Sheldon Dowd Eisenhower, the son of the 34th President of the United States, Dwight D. Eisenhower, carved out his own path through a life that was both privileged and challenging. While the shadow of his father's monumental legacy loomed large, John managed to etch his name in the annals of history, not through scandal, but through service, scholarship, and a dedication to preserving the past. Here are 10 fascinating facts about John Eisenhower that offer a glimpse into the life of a man who navigated the complexities of being a president's son with grace and determination. Fact number 1. A military man in his own right. John Sheldon Dowd Eisenhower, born on August 3, 1922, in Denver, Colorado, stepped into a lineage steeped in military tradition. His father, Dwight D. Eisenhower, was a towering figure in American military history, serving as the supreme commander of the Allied Expeditionary Force in Europe during World War II and later becoming the 34th President of the United States. Despite the formidable legacy of his father, John charted his own course in the United States Army. His journey began at the United States Military Academy at West Point, where he graduated in the class of 1944, a time when the world was engulfed in the Second World War. John's military service spanned several key periods of the 20th century, including World War II, although he was stationed in the United States during the conflict, the Korean War, and the tense years of the Cold War. His roles and responsibilities grew over the years, reflecting his commitment and skill, culminating in his retirement with the rank of Brigadier General. This progression was not merely a shadow of his father's illustrious career but a testament to John's own dedication, leadership, and service to the United States. Number 2. The Scholarly Soldier Beyond the battlefield, John Eisenhower established himself as a distinguished historian and author, carving out a niche that bridged military experience with scholarly inquiry. His literary contributions include The Bitter Woods, 1969, a comprehensive and critically acclaimed account of the Battle of the Bulge, one of the most pivotal engagements of World War II. Additionally, he penned biographies and studies of significant military figures and events, such as So Far From God, The U.S. War with Mexico, 1846-1848, and General Ike, A Personal Reminiscence. His works are celebrated for their meticulous research, historical accuracy, and the unique insight provided by someone who lived through many of the events he described. John's dual legacy as both a soldier and a scholar offered a rare perspective into the intricacies of military strategy, leadership, and the broader currents of American history. Number 3. A Diplomatic Legacy In 1969, amidst the complexities of the Cold War, John Eisenhower was appointed as the United States Ambassador to Belgium by President Richard Nixon. This role was a departure from his military and scholarly pursuits, yet it underscored his versatility and commitment to public service. During his tenure, which lasted until 1971, John played a crucial role in bolstering the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, and enhancing U.S.-European relations. His efforts were particularly focused on strengthening the bonds of alliance and cooperation at a time when the geopolitical landscape was fraught with tensions between the Eastern and Western blocs. John's diplomatic work in Belgium reflected his broader commitment to his country's international standing and its global strategic interests, showcasing another facet of his legacy in the service of the United States. Number 4. Political Neutrality John Sheldon Dowd Eisenhower, despite his lineage as the son of Dwight D. Eisenhower, the 34th President of the United States and a Republican icon, demonstrated a profound level of political independence that became particularly notable in his later years. In 2004, amidst a highly polarized political climate, John made headlines by endorsing Senator John Kerry, the Democratic candidate, over the incumbent President George W. Bush for the presidential election. This endorsement was not merely a deviation from his familial political affiliations but underscored his belief in assessing candidates on their merits, policies, and vision for the country rather than adhering strictly to party lines. John's public support for Kerry was articulated in a piece he wrote, explaining his decision is driven by concerns over the direction of the country and the policies of the Bush administration, especially in foreign affairs and national security. His stance exemplified his commitment to what he saw as the best interests of the United States, reflecting a broader principle of placing country over party. Number 5. 
a private family man. John Eisenhower's life away from the public eye and military accolades was deeply anchored in his dedication to his family. He married Barbara Jean Thompson on June 10, 1947, forging a partnership that would last until her death in 2014. Together, they had four children, David, Barbara and Susan Elaine, and Mary Jean. John's commitment to his family was paramount, a value he held dear throughout his life. Despite the inevitable public interest due to his family's prominent political and military status, John endeavored to maintain a private domestic life. He sought to shield his family from the media spotlight and the intrusions that often accompany public service, emphasizing a nurturing, stable home environment. This aspect of his life highlights his role not just as a military officer, historian, and diplomat but as a devoted husband and father, prioritizing the well-being and privacy of his loved ones. Number 6. An Advocate for Education John Eisenhower's passion for history and education was evident through his role as a professor at the United States Military Academy at West Point, where he was more than just a faculty member, he was a mentor and guide to cadets. His teachings went beyond military tactics, emphasizing leadership, integrity, and service. This commitment to education highlights his belief in its power to shape future leaders, reflecting his dedication to nurturing informed, principled individuals for both military and civilian roles. Number 7. Witness to History As the son of Dwight D. Eisenhower, a five-star general and president of the United States from 1953 to 1961, John Sheldon Dowd Eisenhower had an unparalleled view of significant historical events. His life intersected with monumental 20th-century moments, including his father's presidential inauguration on January 20, 1953, and critical World War II strategies like the D-Day invasion. These experiences informed his work as a historian, allowing him to offer detailed insights and personal perspectives on events he witnessed firsthand, enriching his contributions to historical scholarship. Number 8. A Legacy of Service John Eisenhower dedicated his life to serving his country through various roles as a military officer, diplomat, historian, and educator. His military career, including service in Korea and key positions during the Cold War, showcased his commitment to national security. As a brigadier general and later as the U.S. ambassador to Belgium from 1969 to 1971, he demonstrated leadership and a dedication to international peace. His academic roles, especially at West Point, underscored his commitment to preparing future leaders. John's life was marked by a commitment to the welfare of his country rather than personal glory, continuing his family's legacy of service. Number 9. The Eisenhower National Historic Site John Eisenhower significantly contributed to preserving the Eisenhower National Historic Site near the Gettysburg Battlefield in Pennsylvania. This site, once the Eisenhower family home and a presidential retreat, under John's advocacy, became a key educational resource highlighting the Eisenhower family's contributions to American history. It offers visitors a glimpse into the Eisenhowers' personal and professional lives, reflecting their impact on their historical era. Number 10. A Quiet Farewell John Eisenhower's death on December 21, 2013, marked the passing of a figure who, despite his prestigious lineage, chose a path characterized by quiet dedication rather than public acclaim. His life was a mosaic of service in military uniform, through diplomatic endeavors, within educational circles, and as a historian. Though his name might not have been as publicly recognized as his father's, John's contributions to military history, his efforts in education, and his diplomatic service left an indelible mark on the fabric of American history. His legacy, encapsulated in his numerous writings, his work in preserving historical sites, and his commitment to his family, continues to resonate, reflecting a life devoted to the principles of duty, integrity, and the pursuit of knowledge.